And God bless you all. There's a um, there's a couple of things I wanted to point out. I wanted to go back on. Um, going back to the spiritual gifts. So some things I didn't mention that I wanted to. And, um, you know, even though I already covered it, I wanted to review a verse or so. As um as we don't have every spiritual gift, but I just wanted to point out that um when the Apostle Paul stated um covet earnestly the best gift, you know, so I'd ask you, you know, if we already had every gift and once we come into Christ, then and why would he ask why would he tell you to covet the best gift? And something else that I've shared with uh, my mom and my brother as well. Um, you know, it's the way they, they teach you. They teach you how to speak in tongues and how to prophesy. And nobody, they could give me an answer. Where in the Bible do you see Paul or Peter teaching people how to speak in tongues that it can be taught? You know, they literally teach you, breathe in and move your lips like this. And 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 I, I didn't know any better then. And, and I just know how demonic that is now. Again, with the foundation not knowing who God is, and this Holy Spirit isn't it, and you're calling this tongues, and now you're teaching tongues, so you know you ain't speaking in tongues, and you don't even know who God is, and um, that's an interesting point on the, uh, you know, on the spiritual gifts, you know, covet the best gifts, you know, ask for your gifts to be, to be manifested. That's something I'm doing, and uh, you know, you at least have one of them, you know, that's a guarantee. And um, another thing I was going to mention is this. Is, um, a lot of people, they deny the Trinity. Of course, it's from ignorance, always. You know, some people, they they do know what it teaches, but they're just not going to believe it. But most cases, it's ignorance, and it starts with, um, you know, not understanding what the doctrine is, and, you know, they think it's three gods and all that. But what's interesting is, uh, just as Arian taught, you know, that's where this Jehovah Witness doctrine comes from, that Jesus is a God. Um, while trying to avoid um, three gods, uh, they um, are actually, they've actually created another God. And the witnesses happily tell you Jesus is a God. And they straight up put um, in John 1, 1, the word was a God. They inserted the the indefinite article A into that to that verse because again they any verse that says Jesus is God they edit on all that you know it's not a translation but the way international they aren't saying that Jesus is a God like the Jehovah's Witnesses do but it's no different because their belief is the same so check this out you have you have a perfect son of God who is um, who is to be worshipped, who does all the things God does and only can do, such as forgive sin, um, um, accept worship, um, make claims that belong to God, you know, being the I Am, the Alpha, the Omega, and all these things, and yet, and yet he's not God. So clearly this is a God. So while trying to avoid multiple gods, you've actually created multiple gods. And, you know, in the way they, they're they confused by that. And just by talking to my mom a few days ago, you know, as I've stated before, you know, there's verses they really don't know. I talked to her about the Holy Spirit, about him being grieved and lied to, all these uh, verses that tell you he's a being, that he is God. And she doesn't know them, and there's a reason for that, you know. Because they're, they're not going to teach on that. And um, also that, uh, you know, the, um, the the Way International, they they try to limit the Holy Spirit to, they they will pick and choose when, when the Holy Spirit is actually God the Father. And so when they believe that it's referring to, to the Father, they, they capitalize H and S. Holy Spirit, and they lowercase h and s when it's the gift, Holy Spirit. So yes, God is holy and he's a spirit. And when the Bible talks about the Holy Ghost, it is always referring to the third member of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. 
but you know again the ignorance to throw to throw it away you make the holy spirit god the father you know and and then the separation of um this is the gift of holy spirit you know the holy spirit he is a gift as god has given his children the gift of holy spirit but he's more than a gift he is a person he is god and um the some another some else again it's god god be prayed over man people you know, it's not that I know everything or what have you, but people are really deceived, and the enemy knows the word. He's he's very slick. We got to understand that he knows the word, and he comes in light of an angel. It looks good. It sounds biblical, you know, blessings in your life and all that, but it doesn't mean it's from Jesus, you know. And there's people who live poorly, and they and they do have Jesus, you know, all this prosperity gospel and stuff, and. You know, just because you call on God and your life is all great and things, it doesn't mean that that you know the Lord. You know, the enemy is subtle. So that's just a couple of things I wanted to touch on, and I think I'm done with that. So, um, you know, pray for the Way International and, uh, you know, everybody in these cults who are deceived and, you know, that people aren't led there. Um, as long as they continue to teach these things, you know, pray for them that, they can come to the truth and that they do and that they repent because it's just, it's just the truth. This this road does not lead to heaven. You got to know who God is. So uh, pray for their souls, y'all.